to discover, notice, observe, um, locate um, and interact with the world. It really encourages students to get in contact with me. You need to think about how you can change your course. That teacher presence and that support has been overwhelmingly positive. OnTask is a tool that integrates really well with Moodle that you can use to send um, systematic emails that you design and generate for your students to send um, feedback or to touch base based on specific conditions that you're looking at. OnTask is simply a software tool. Um, you can use it in a way similar to the mail merge feature that you have in common word processing um, tools. So basically we have data that gets pushed into OnTask and the data I'm talking about is all of our learning and teaching data. So around students engagement in things like Moodle and then we can use that to generate an email which is customised. So what it means is the email can pick up the data that gets pulled in. So things like student's first name, um, if a student is enrolled in a particular program, if a student's repeating that course. So your email can now be customised based on the information about them in that spreadsheet. So it can say something like, Dear Sheridan, um, welcome to the course. I noticed you've done this course before. Um, and then some information about your learning within that course. So if you have specific learning activities or different things that you need the students to engage in, if they have or haven't, you can then provide them with some feedback, which is either positive feedback, if the data in there is suggests that they've engaged with it, or some feedback to encourage them to engage with it. So it's a really a tool that allows you to generate so communication, personalised communication, in a way that we haven't been able to do based on the analytics that we collect. One big reason is now, as we know, like when you have uh, um, foundation courses, for example, you have students from all different programs, so you have a really diverse course cohort. So OnTask is really useful for reaching out to uh, the, those uh, diversity of students and um, reaching them in ways that are personalised to their needs, so, so tailored to where they're from or tailored to the difficulties that they're having. But it also allows um, scalability. So if you've got a really large course, you can send a personalised email to every single student that's got their name exactly um, you know, reactive to what they've specifically done. And it allows you to do that in a really large scale way to provide feedback to those students. For me it's been a fantastic tool to um, be able to send that feedback to students um, who really um, might be struggling but also those that are doing well and often we don't praise those students. We always seem to concentrate on the ones that are, aren't attending or are failing or you know, are struggling but we don't seem to focus on either the, the top students or even those in the middle. And by setting the criteria and sending some personalised feedback once a week or once a fortnight, you can really gain the students' trust and get them motivated to do better. Uh, this tool has allowed me to broaden, I guess, the student cohort that I'm able to support. So now I'm not only able to support those students at risk or those on the kind of pass-fail grade, but now I'm really able to also target students that might be on a credit to try to support them to get up to that distinction level or distinction level to a high distinction level. So instead of being able to send an email to 30 students that I would have only had time to personalise, I can then scale that up and send it to 300 students, but for their particular, I guess, abilities and, and study supports. A nice example, I think, is around um, the use of OnTask with the cohort of our staff here at UniSA. Um, I flicked an email to the staff that were enrolled in a Moodle course. Um, in our learning management system and it was essentially an email to either support or encourage their um, use of the resources that we had developed or one to encourage them to go use it and the staff respond as do the students in particularly those who haven't engaged with material in a very apologetic way very thankful 
Um, and what you then notice is if you look at the data in the system is a change in their behaviour so they start to engage with the material more. So regular use of an on-task email in the right course around the right learning activities can really start to drive a change in learning behaviour which can lift student performance. So I think one really great example was with a student that had been struggling and they just didn't really know how to use the university systems correctly. They weren't sure how to access um, some of the materials online. And then through on task, I was able to, I guess, notice um, through some learning analytics that perhaps they weren't, they weren't looking at those things. And that was meaning that their study skills weren't as good. And then I was able to suggest, oh, would you like to do this? Or can you reach out to me? Do you need support? Is everything okay? And then I was getting some then really nice response to say, oh, thank you. I have been struggling. This is why I've been behind. But now I would like to make a meeting with you. or I'd like to chat with you. And then allowed, that allowed the student quite early on to then be supported through the rest of their study. So we could notice something early on that might have been a sticking point for that student, but reach out to them and to have that personalized kind of support the student really appreciated. One thing that surprised me from the focus groups is that students were not expecting this um, email, although they were told before to, that they would be getting these emails. They found it a pleasant surprise whenever they got it. And also uh, there was this sense that um, the lecturer cares. So the lecturer actually, even though they know it's automated, it's an automated email, they actually get the sense that the, the lecturer cares enough to send this email every week or every time. Uh, because, and that shows that the lecturer really cares about my progress. Um, focus groups that we ran with the sessions, they talked about the fact that it was a bit of a kick in the butt. It created a safe anxiety for them. So they could reflect on their learning, not only in the course that I was coordinating, but in all the courses they were doing. So if they were slacking off and playing games a bit much, they were probably falling behind in everything, not just my course. So students' responses were overwhelmingly positive. I think it would depend how the educator is using it. If you're not aware of how your messages are being perceived, that could be a drawback. So I think it's it's up to the educator to construct the email messages so that they are from you and that they are authentic. And I think there could be drawbacks if educators kind of, I guess, take the easy way out and don't personalise it to how they sound or how they normally correspond via email to students. It does have a little bit of a time commitment the first time you use it, just getting your head around how to word some of the emails and how to create the conditions. But I think that the benefits still outweigh um, some of the drawbacks and once you've made that initial time investment you save a lot of time in the long run. Number one, do it. But make sure that there is an actual purpose to what you're doing. Don't just send it out for, for the sake of sending it out. Make sure you know what the goal is. What do you want to achieve by sending this email out? And make sure when you write the email, it sounds like it's coming from you. It has to sound like you've personally sent this student an email to say, fantastic, well done, or we noticed you're struggling a bit, can we help? What can we do? Yeah, if you're thinking about using OnTask, the first thing to do is sit down and think about your course. Um, you have to know your course, know the touch points in your course, what are critical time points in there, what types of activities do you have in your course or learning, um, learning activities throughout the study period. If you're using your course simply as your course platform, so your Moodle page, simply as a place to upload your PowerPoint presentations because you run face-to-face -face classes, then the use of Vantage is going to be limited. If you have a number of discussion forums that are formative and they form part of a class that runs the next day and you post questions on there and you need students to engage in it, on task can be used very differently. So if you're a new staff member, reflect on your course, reflect on how your students perform historically in your course and, and don't let the data drive what you do. You need to think about how you can change your course and that will result in different data which you can then use to improve your teaching or your, your students' learning. <music>